हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन हवा यू ऑल आई होप आप ऑल मजे कर रहे हो घर पे एंड आई एम नॉट श्योर बट प्रॉबिलिटी है फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी वन सेप्टेम्बर योर स्कूल विल स्टार्ट राइट सो वी विल मीट वेरी सून सो नाउ First, we'll discuss about some course, and then we'll start a new lecture. Till today's, we done chapter number one, two, and seven of history part. It is rise of British rule in India, First World War and Russian Revolution, and post independence India. Then we have done. Chapter number eight, nine, ten, and twelve: Framing of Constitution and its feature, fundamental rights, duties, and directive principle of state policy, organs of government, and Indian democracy. Then, in geography part, chapter seventeen. Natural vegetation. Chapter nineteen, Indian human lifestyle. Chapter twenty, disaster management, and chapter fourteen, India location, geological structure, and physiography part two. So we have done total three chapters from history. Four chapter from civics part, and four three and half chapter from geography part. Is it clear? Okay, good. See students, think about. कि मैं आपको क्यों ये सब बता रही हूँ? So ये याद दिलाने के लिए कि total Three plus four, seven plus ten chapters complete. हो चुके हैं. So start the learning and start the preparations for the examination. Because at the end you don't have enough time for a particular subject. So that's why you will start from now. Okay, good. So today we start the new chapter, chapter from geography part. That is chapter number eighteen. Wildlife, very easy, very simple chapter. Hai. <clears throat> Page number one thirty seven. Just a minute. Huh?
so chapter 18 <clears throat> wild life so first era india has a diversified relief and climate we all know in every matter india has a diversity whereas climate then uh, caste then religion then language right similar diversity is seen here in the wildlife in the entire world about 15 lakh species of wildlife are recorded of which 81251 species are found in india see in entire world total species of wildlife are 15 lakh and out of them 81251 to india mein this includes reptiles, mammals, fishes and other insects. So exploration continue to identify other animals found in different forests. India is the sixth position among the countries rich in biodiversity. Please underline India is at sixth position among the countries rich in biodiversity. India has a less forest cover compared to that its wildlife diversity is not visible. That means uh, we can see before that 81,251 total species out of 15 lakh found in India. So, on ki compare mein forest zyada hone chahiye but India has the last forest cover compared to that its wildlife diversity and th that is unnoticeable. So now animal geographical regions of India. Natural vegetation region have been devised on the basis of their characteristics. Similarly, a special distribution can be made for animals. So, wildlife of India is divided into nine zones. Total, nine zones may divide here according to similarity and characteristics and also existence. So, first, Himalaya. Second, Ladakh and dry cold. Third, forested and uh, lower Himalayas. Fourth, Highlands without forest cover in Upper Himalayas. Fifth, Northern Plain. Sixth, Desert of Rajasthan. Seventh, Peninsular Plateau. Eight, Sea Coast. And nine, Nilgiri Hills. Again, I'll repeat. First, Himalaya region. Second, Ladakh and Dry Cold area. Third, Forest region in Lower Himalayas. Fourth, Highland without forest cover in Upper Himalayas. Fifth, Northern Plain. Sixth, Desert of Rajasthan. Seventh, Peninsula Plateau. Eight, Sea Coast. And nine, Nirgili Hills. So, biodiversity is studied according to this zoogeographical region. Uh, we can here see that total nine zone divided according to similarities and characteristics of animals so now we'll study in detail the diversity wildlife of india but before that you just read this first para and second para and underline the numerical information and this nine name of zone so in first para you underline the 15 lake out of them 81,000 to 51 found in India. Then uh, includes reptile, mammals, etc. Sixth position. Underline and read. We are just 30 seconds now. Okay. Now take the total nine zone.
Okay, done. Now, diversified wildlife of India. C. The vast alluvial plain of rivers, peninsular plateau, mountainous region, swampy areas. What is a swampy areas? Do you have any idea about swampy areas? Here is given the meaning of swampy area. Swampy area means an area of a low lying land that is a frequently flooded, especially when dominated by woody plants. A area of a low lying land that is a frequently flooded, especially when dominated by the woody plants. And the low land region saturated with the water. In the situation of a place fraught with the difficulties and imponderables, a financial swamp. It is called swampy area. Clear? So, other words you have used to, like mountainous, sea coast, okay? Then dense rainforest, deciduous forest, coniferous forest in Himalayas, and other higher region form. A vast background for the habitation of wildlife in India. Underlines plain of rivers, peninsular plateau, mountainous, swampy, sea coast, deciduous, coniferous. Okay. And background for habitation of wildlife. Then uh, animals seen are an Asian elephant in peninsular rainforest, one horned rhino in swampy Brahmaputra river. See, which animal do you get Please underline, uh, the animals seen are Asian elephant in peninsular rainforest, then one horned rhino in a swampy Brahmaputra river, then snow leopard in higher Himalayas, Wild goats and musk deer in Jammu Kashmir. Then wild buffalo, tiger in central India and West Bengal. Then good cut in a little run of Kutch and flamingo in water lodge, greater run. Underline Karthi Jana. Which animal seen in which area? Then, presence of Great India Bustard in a grassland area is noted again. And in the water lodge areas, migratory birds from cold region come down in a great number. So, this includes the Siberian crane, pelican, Tibetan duck, conch, Kerkera, etc. These all are the birds. Flying squirrels are seen in the dense forest of Western Ghat. We, we all see the squirrel, but the flying squirrel, little bit different from the eye squirrel. That is, we can see in uh, dense forest of Western Ghat. Then Nicobari, above Nicobari dog. Is a rare bird seen in Nicobar Island. See in the next lecture, I'll show you the different uh, birds and uh, animals which uh, totally new for us, like a uh, flying squirrel, then a Siberian crane, Tibetan duck, etc. Then the rare species of corals are seen in the Gulf of Kutch and Lakshadweep. Island. Along with the mammals and many types of birds, not only should be taken of a king cobra, snakes, python, iguana, that means patlago, if you remember or heard about it. Along sea coast and other water bodies, various fishes, sea snake, dolphin, shark, dugong, mexico, uh, octopus, well, etc. from a part of animal world. Besides, forest animals like fox, wolf, nilgai, deer, mongoose, rabbit, wild hog, hedgehog are seen in agriculture areas. 
many birds such as nightingale, parrot, peacock, weaver birds, chibri, pilak, vulture, gabar, torbagla, etc. are also seen roaming in this area. So, in this para, uh, this two paragraph, uh, we can we see about the animals and birds and their respective region. So, you have just now one and a half minute underline all the name of animals with the uh, respective areas. I mean to say region and uh, also underline the birds and areas. And then we'll start a next topic. Please underline and read also. You have one minute for that. Thodi speed karna. And also ready for the fire not comp fire not checking. If from the twenty when September school will start, then you submit your fire notes, projects, homework. So students, be prepare for the school opening. So your whole homework, then fire notes complete. Okay. First para complete. Now the next. See here we given a many names of uh, birds and animals, but we have just remember only four to five, and then we can write the etc form. Okay. Okay. So in like to know. Come to the next page. Like to know. So, crane is the largest bird seen in India. So, like to know topic. Uh, important for the MCQs or a one word question. Or in a blank form or true and false. So, crane is the high, largest bird in India. Then, full sungo is the smallest bird. See, largest bird crane and smallest bird full sungo. India, man. Then, bird wing is the largest butterfly seen in the South India. Largest butterfly, bird wing in South India. Then, smallest butterfly is a Sira's jewel in India. Okay. Underline largest bird, smallest bird, largest butterfly and smallest butterfly. Good. Here we done the first page. In first para we see about the total species and out of them how many found in India. Then position number of India among biodiversity. Then uh, animal geographical region of India. Total nine zone divided according to similarities and characteristics. Then uh, and which nine? So Himalaya region, Ladakh and dry cold area, forested region, high land without forest cover in upper Himalaya, the northern plain, desert of Rajasthan, peninsular plateau, sea coast and Nilgiri. And then the diversified wildlife of India. So in this topic, we have learned about there are different types of uh, animals and respective area regions for that animals and uh, birds and also background for the habitation of wildlife in India. Then we can see the largest bird, smallest bird in India, then largest butterfly in South India and smallest butterfly in India. Now we will start the wildlife and the need for conservation. So, 
while going through the past it become evident that there is a danger to the existence of wildlife if we while going through the past of our country then it becomes evident that there is a danger to the existence of wildlife since the last few decades and we all knew about it ki kitne time se hum dekh rahe the ki wildlife existence is very in danger zone but before 100 years thousand of tigers were seen in india before 100 years thousand of tigers were seen in india and as per the figure of 2014 given by forest and environment ministry the figure is 2226 only thousand of tigers dikhte the aur abhi only 2226 so tiger have grown in numbers which is evident from imprints of their food taken during the last few years and this is a good sign so tigers increase hue then vultures are on a verge of becoming ex- uh, vulture is a kind of animal due to eating the meat which become a polluted by diclofenac drug used in treatment of sick milk cattle so asiatic cheetahs seen in the forest in beginning of 20th century have become extinct from india in 20th century ke beginning mein asiatic cheetahs humne the forest mein dekhne ko milte the once the asiatic lion of gir which were seen even up to the middle east are now restricted to gir forest only hum jo asiatic lion hai gir ke wo hume east middle part tak dekhne ko milte the but uh, now that is restricted to the gir forest only then with due to step taken for their protection now the number is 523 once a crane were seen in large number in gujarat but now their number is reduced wildlife is a inseparable part of a living organism but the decrease in their number somewhere and during few years reduce the quality of environment see uh, animals ke numbers of birds uh, reduce ho rahe unka reason hai environmental quality because uh, pollution badhta hi ja hai aur unki wajah se forest will reduced and that's why they reduce the numbers of birds and animals so which is a matter of concern so shyamgarh shyam garud residents of mountainous forest in gujarat is now rarely seen see i think hum mein se kisi ne dekha bhi nahi hoga shyam garud a resident of mountainous forest in gujarat is now rarely seen then chilotro seen in forest of vijayanagar taluka of Sabar Kanta district also rarely seen today. I'll see, show you all the pictures of these birds and animals in next lecture. And it is obvious that unless human greed and run for progress, कि हम mostly हमारे progress के लिए और हमारी greed की वजह से animals के use करते हैं environment को unbalance करते हैं. so i have made a environment imbalanced which would bring adverse result still there is a time if a proper action are not taken then the next generation would see the wildlife only in pictures like now we can see uh, some little animals and birds but our next generation cannot see that in originality and also see the wildlife only a pictures if we cannot take an a proper action then only otherwise we have a time ki hum hamare environment hamare forest hamari animals ko bacha le now we complete the wildlife and the need for conservation now it's your time just read and underline the important information 
you have one and half minute for that uh, complete the underline and reading of this topic कौन से इंक्रीज हुए कौन से डिक्रीज हुए अंडरलाइन करना और याद रखना ओके क्लियर गुड so here we done total three topic first one animal geographical region of India then diversified wildlife of India and then wildlife and need for conservation so here we done on just a minute here we done the today's topic and from the next lecture, we'll start the important national parks and centuries of India. And also, uh, as I told you, I'll show the picture of some animals and birds in next lecture. So in your today's homework, not uh, particular homework, but uh, complete your fair not. Uh, if any chapter pending in your book, then complete your fab book social or if you complete this book and then you can complete the other subject book so here we done today's lecture i hope you all enjoy this lecture and now here we done this and uh, as i told you in fan of homework you complete the social book or else other subject but if you complete the social then only you have allowed the other subjects book okay so goodbye everyone